All right, I got the camera going. Now, you tell me that again. This locomotive right here, and yeah. the two tank, uh, tanker cars, it's a Japanese, they're Kato, made in Japan. And um, it's Kato's main company, because Kato USA makes the American prototype. But that locomotive right there is a DD-51, DD-51 uh, is the type of locomotive, and 791 is the road number. And you got the two tank cars right here. This one back here is the uh, plain green. I'll get to that other one in a second. That logo right there is Japan Oil Transportation. And uh, that's one of the main uh, oil transport companies in Japan with the tanker cars. And then this one right here, it says Enios. That's a, actually a Japanese uh, gas station. So they put the, uh, the the logo on the tank car, same way that the American tank cars would have like Shell or Mobile on them. So yeah. that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. How many motors are in the engine? Ah, uh, one. Only one. Yep. Yeah. You got the sound card in there? No, well, you you could get them. I, I think Lope Sound makes them, or one of the manufacturers. But that's just a straight DCC decoder. I just wanted to make sure with one. when I first got that, I didn't think there was any way to put a decoder in it. But as it turned out, it's plug and play. If you take the, the cab off, plug the decoder in, put the cab back on, program it, and away you go. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hardwire it or anything like that. So that's what I like about it. And how long did it take you to put it together? Uh, or put the decoder in, I think it's about less than five minutes. Really? Yeah, like I say, they only come assembled from the factory, it's ready to run. Plug and play. Yep. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.